Welcome to another tutorial by Sierra Tech on how to use the iCloud to upload your photos to your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch from your computer. First we'll demonstrate what you need to do to your iPhone to set it up so that you can automatically upload photos to your iPhone's photo stream. We need to enable the photo stream on the iPhone if not done so previously. Let's take a look at the iPhone. There are multiple ways to transfer photos to and from your computer to your iPhone or iPad. We have two apps, one called Image Transfer 2.0 and Photo Wi-Fi. Both use the network between the computer and the iPhone's Wi-Fi connection to transfer photos to and from the computer and iPhone. So now we're going to open our photo app and take a look at the library content. You notice we do not have a photo stream folder in our albums. So we need to set up the iPhone to enable the photo stream. So we'll go to the iCloud settings in the settings app and click on photos. My photo stream is off by default. We're going to turn that on. We're not going to touch upload burst photos or iCloud photo library. And the reason why is we don't have enough room in the iCloud to back up all of our photos that are, exist on the iPhone. So once we've done that, We'll now go back to the photo app and look at the library. And see that we have my photo stream. Now if we tap on my photo stream, notice it's empty naturally. Okay. So now what we need to do is Open the iCloud. And as you can see here, we have configured photos to be managed by the iCloud software on our Windows computer. To find out where your folders are, you click Options. Down here, you'll see that our photo stream is located in the Pictures folder. And we have these two checked. Click OK. And minimize this. This is one of the photos that I want to put on my iPhone. This photo exists in my computer under Lake Tahoe Winter 2004. Of course, winter 2004, there was no such thing as an iPhone. So we would like to take a couple pictures from the computer and put them on the iPhone. I can click on a photo, of course, in Windows and simply preview that photo. And that looks like one that I want. So I'll select that one, press the control button, select that one. I'm going to right click this and move over here to the uploads folder that was shown in the iCloud settings. I'm going to copy here. Instead of click and dragging, See, this is in the pictures folder, and so is this. If I was to click and drag, it would simply move these pictures over to here, and I do not want to move them. I just want to copy them. So now with the iCloud running, these pictures will be uploaded. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes, sometimes longer. Depends on Apple's servers. And the iCloud should be running, by the way. 
in the notification area. You should see it here. So we have done what's necessary here on the computer and now it's up to Apple to perform the upload into the photo stream. So when the photos appear, let's take a look at the iPhone. So now let's check our iPhone. Let's tap the Photos app. And as you can see, my photo stream has two photos. So let's tap that to open it. And let's tap the first image. Notice above the October 27, 2004 date. This is the date the photo was taken. That information is stored in the photo. Let's tap the second image. Same thing, October 27, 2004. So as you can see, we can export older photos from our computer to our iPhone or iPad, which allows us to share photos taken from a different camera or those photos that were taken years before the iPhone was ever invented that reside on our computers. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up and thank you for watching.